Hey, welcome back Design Squad and in this video we're going to continue on design systems in Sketch and specifically we're going to talk about handovers to engineers, web developments, front-end guys, you know, front-end ninjas who make the stuff we designed come to life and make it well. And so it's no secret that, you know, whatever you design from UI patterns perspective has to be engineered and has to be thought out. And there's a lot of, of the feasibility question of what can be achieved within the time constraints, the budget constraints, the technical aspect constraints, because, you know, you might not have the right engineer in place or maybe the engineers just don't have time to address it. And so as a result, there could be lack of quality in the end solution. And so tools like, for example, Zeppelin or even, you know, Figma or actually have a developer handover tools or inspect tools, which in pixel perfect way gives guidelines for, let's say, front end engineers to design it well. So there is no excuses of, let's say that, hey, I didn't know how many pixels it was like for a, so let's say a certain margin or what text to use or how the text size should be or what's the proportions like you know there are tools to do that and bridge the gap between us as product designers as ui designers as design system managers and the engineers and i'm going to show you how i would do continuing from our design system perspective do a handover using zeppelin and so we have this template we have this page let's say where i have my mock-up you know i could for example, just simply take my artboard and if you have installed the Zeppelin plugin, go to plugins and select Zeppelin. If you haven't done so, pause this video, install it, try it out. It's really worth uh, the try, especially if your team works with Sketch, let's say, and your developers are using anything but Sketch. Let's say they're Windows engineers. Zeppelin works cross platform and so it's easy to handle. It's purely handover tool. It has a free license, I think, for one project. And, you know, you can just get a team account and use it. And it's it's a lifesaver to, for handovers. And so you can then say export selected and it's going to take my artboard and export it to, let's say, one of the projects I have. And I'm just going to take this random project for now, but I can click export and then it does the rest basically. And now the file goes into cloud. It gets deconstructed into the specs. It looks exactly how it looked in sketch It's basically a sketch file, but it has a layer of the code on top. And let me show you exactly what it is like. So let's say if this is my project and I have this template for chat page, I could even probably rename it into that. You see it extracted with external assets. You might not need it at all because you know, it's kind of like it's up to you how you want to do it because it adds a white margin around it. Maybe it's just a mock-up with, without the actual templating which you export, but I leave it up to you to explore and actually find out how you want to do it. But as you can see, all of my assets, all of my design system is now exported into a Zeppelin and developers in a web view or app view can preview all the different bits. They can preview exactly what font I used, what size it is, and see it bit by bit exactly what's been used into the smallest of the atoms. That's the beauty of it. Because let's say if I select this bar, I can get the color and I can also add it to my design system in the style guide. So you also, if you know, if you have extra time, you can pre-populate the design system within Zeppelin 2 so that it's easier for developers to, let's say, name their color variables in code. So everything in hashtag dusk is going to have this shade. And if you want to update that shade, everything what had assigned dusk is going to be updated in that atomic way. And let's say I'm just going to go from a few of them and just add really quickly because it's easy as you can see zeppelin just adds everything to style guide very quickly and you can add it to text styles as well if you are smart you're gonna give it names i'm just you know cowboying around right now and just adding random stuff but i would expect you to kind of like go through and just do it properly but as you can see you then can add a lot of different bits into your style guide you can even enable so that developers can extract different assets so if i go back to my sketch if you can see if i selected that icon developers cannot do anything with it however if i go back to sketch and i select that icon i go deep deep inside into my molecules 
and then even atoms as you can see I have multiple of them and make it exportable you can just save it and then re-export it let's say all of it is going to be updated and now developers are going to be able to extract it and be able to download it as you can see all the different assets into components got also exported and so you can if you really want to export a lot of different bits to Zeppelin and you know make the components as well exportable so let's say this if I go back to my I think it was in molecules if I'm correct or actually let's do organisms make it exportable make that exportable too and now if I go and re-upload it to Zeppelin really quickly it's gonna take just a moment you're gonna see that now I have a capability to explore those components. Whoop. And now I have, let's say, re-uploaded the other component too, and I can just download it as an image if I'm a developer and I want to and have an option to do so otherwise. And so there is a lot of different bits. As you can see, I just replaced all of it, but you can play around and you can find how to hand over it best for your developers. Again, what I do, I usually just sit down with an engineer and I'm like asking them, what do you need from me besides cutting out images like olden times and sending you specific icons and stuff? What do you need from me to make it best? And ask them, listen to them, ask your opinion of what they use. Try to introduce Zeppelin. You know, don't be brash and say, this is what we're going to use. No, ask them more than you actually tell them. That's just the easiest way to, you know, to get to some sort of middle ground so that both wins. Because for your job as a designer is to do a handover. It's not just to design the elements. It's also assure that the quality is going to be there in the end. And a way to do so is to agree with them that this is the approach. Now, engineers are going to have a design system on their own end. It's going to be code snippets in React, Angular, uh, JavaScript, jQuery. You know, all the front-end framework components and there's code snippet language. And so they're going to use that. You can always transition and scale it that way so that it's it's easy for them to extract patterns and Zeppelin makes it very, very easy for everyone. I hope this is useful. It's a really quick overview. Zeppelin packs so much more. I didn't even show you the style guide in the end, but basically whatever you export there, the developers are going to see exactly one to one and exactly what you want them to see. So stay tuned for more videos on design systems. Give a like, share with your design teammates, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so. And to wrap it up, I'll see you next time.